Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today I'm going to show you where you're able to find over 200 different fonts that you're able to install on your Samsung Galaxy device. Now, I've been using this application for the past three or four days now just to see if there's any issues with app crashes or battery drainage. I have seen none of that, and it's also a free application, and it works with literally every single thing on your phone. So it works right here inside of the widget. It works with all of my folder names. Uh, it actually looks really nice. I'll show you what this font is here in just a second. It is my favorite one. So when you take a look at all the applications, it works inside of the normal text messaging. It works inside of, of Google Messenger. It works even inside of YouTube applications. So really anywhere that you see text, it will be activated with whichever font that you use. So the application that we're talking about today is a free app. It's called Z font. So all you'd have to do is go inside of the play store, search for Z font, and it looks like this icon right there. And once you get the application downloaded and installed, it might ask you to accept a couple permissions. That's just a way that you're able to change all of the font inside of your phone, which it is safe to do so. If it doesn't ask you at the very beginning, it might be once you choose one of these fonts to download, you might see a couple ads pop up, but just close out of those ones. This is where you hit on download. And then once it's downloading, you might see another ad. Once you get out of this thing, you just go to install. It's installing it. And then once you choose this, then you're able to either change the font now or you can cancel it and then change it a little bit later on because maybe you want to take a look at a few more. Now, as you scroll on down, you're going to see that there's 223 as of the recording of this video. I don't know how often this gets updated. Again, I've only had it for about four days now, but you can see which ones you have downloaded. If you actually do have them downloaded, you'll see the word local. Uh, if you want to go through some of these, you are able to take a look at these. There's also emojis, but I haven't really gotten any of these to work on, on one UI just yet so that might be an update in the future to get certain types of emojis but let's say that you go through here uh, let's say we go to stylish and if there's one of these that you like and if you're running on a phone older than the Samsung one UI then let's say that you like this one here you go to download and then once you hit on download you just go to set and you're going to choose which Android phone you have and if you have a Samsung phone uh, then you can choose one of these. So if you're still running on Android 9, you can still make this work, um, but you just want to move over into one of these later categories. You don't want to be in the category of the One UI. So this is how you can do it with any phone running anything older than Samsung One UI. Once you choose on that Pi option there or Oreo, then it's going to change it and get it installed for you. Now, because I don't need this one here, I'm just going to go up on the top. I'm going to hit on delete because I don't need it. Let's move right back over into One UI and let's just kind of look around at a few other ones. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy's Promo and you appreciate this video, you love tips and tricks about Samsung phones, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. Even though you're subscribed, if you don't hit the bell and select the option of all, you might not get notified of any future videos. So this right here is quite a bit different than what we're using. So let's say that this is one that you like. Again, let's go to download. Once you get it downloaded, let's go to install. And then you wanna to go to install. Uh, and then you wanna to go to change font. Now, the area that they go for this whole change font area, just in case if you ever wanna change this in the future, if you pull this down, which I'm gonna delete this right here or pull off that notification. Once you pull this down and you go inside of your settings, it's gonna be inside of display. Now inside of display, you're gonna scroll down where it says font size and style. Then you just click on font style. So I've got a few extra ones that I've downloaded. So here's the one that we just got done choosing. You can see a little example up over here. I also like the option of bold. It's pretty fun when you're actually typing it out, especially in the text messaging application, it'll come off as bold. And then once it's sent off, it looks pretty normal. You can also change the size right over here. This is really nothing new, but this is where you can really get into seeing exactly what it looks like. But I usually like mine sitting right around here. So if you want it bold or not bold, if you want to change your font style, so again, we're going to keep it on this one. It looks pretty cool. So let's move up. So now you can see that it made a change to all of these right over here. So when you go inside of your albums, let's say you go inside of YouTube, you're going to see a pretty big change here. Uh, again, it's going to be with the titles and the wording right there. Uh, and also too, when you look inside of your settings, it's going to make it look pretty cool. It's actually pretty fun to play with these. So let's go back inside of display. 
Let's go down to the font size and style. Let's go over here. The one that I was using uh, before was this Humana Sans ITC. So this was the one that I was using when I first started the video. And I mentioned that I just love the way that it looks. I think it looks really cool. So if you wanted to use the one that I'm using here, again, all you'd have to look for, actually, let's go back inside of settings. Let's go back in display, font and style. So the one again is that Humana Sans ITC. So that's the one that we're using. Uh, Zoinks looks pretty crazy. I know a few of you saw that little post I put on the community tab. So if you want to see what this one looks like, this is what the Zoinks looks like. Uh, it's pretty crazy there. <laughs> uh, some of the letters might kind of blend in a little bit if you don't have that clear of eyesight. So you really want to go around and play with all the different uh, fonts. So again, if you ever want to download more, just go right back inside of Z font. Once you go inside of here, make sure you're on the very first tab over there of One UI. Then as you scroll on down, just try to find one that is something that you, you know, love to use. So here is circle rounded. This one actually looks pretty cool. So again, a few different ads pop up, no big deal. You know, everything is free. A couple extra taps, install, install. Let's go to change the font. Uh, the one we just got was that circle rounded and here we go so this is how you're able to change your font again it works with anything and everything on your phone every single application that you take a look at if it's inside of your contacts if it's your messages go to youtube if you go inside your camera every single thing is changed and it's actually pretty fun and cool but i hope you guys have liked this video if you guys did please give this thing a huge thumbs up don't forget to hit on subscribe subscribe right over here in the very bottom left hand side and if you like this video then more than likely you'll also like this video and I'll see you guys later.